Hi everyone, Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace and on this channel I talk about faith, culture, and media awareness and really I hope that you will glean something that you can use in your own discipleship efforts. I do talk about media a lot too and I'll be doing a whole series on different um, digital discipleship tips uh, in the future. If you haven't clicked subscribe, please do click subscribe. It's very helpful to me. Um, basically saves me a lot of time. So anyway, today I'm going to be doing a topic on listening to God and common ways to listen to God. And about, I guess it was in the mid to late 90s, I was active in the Catholic Charismatic Renewal of Central Indiana. And throughout that experience in various either leadership roles or in just in conversation <laughs> this topic would come up a lot like listening to God and different ways to listen to God and let's see one two three four. okay one two three four five okay okay I had to count I didn't have this I didn't have this done ahead of time okay so these are this is going to be the eight most common ways people hear God and number one, in the car. I mean, think about it. You're in the car by yourself and you just, it's just a great time to listen to God. So I've, I have many funny stories about really all these locations, but the car. I just know for my, myself, you know, many times when I've had to commute to work, whether it was by train or by car, um, that that really was a great time to listen to God. Okay, number one is the car. Number two, at Mass. And I think probably the most prevalent time when people hear God during Mass is right after Communion, when it's just quiet. Um, a lot of times I've heard God kind of throughout Mass. I'll just be at Mass and I'll just start getting all these, <laughs> getting all these ideas about um, like spiritual things, that may be things that I feel like God wants me to do, or it might be something that's, you know, uh, in the liturgy of the Word or the Gospel throughout Mass, or just even in the Psalms. Something will just really stick out to me. So at Mass is another place. Number three, actually, I went there today. The Adoration Chapel, which is a um, Eucharistic Adoration Chapel. It's where the Eucharist which is the, the host, which is the body, blood, soul, and divinity, divinity of Jesus Christ, is on reserve in a specific chapel. And in, um, at the parish that I go to, it's on a replica of the Old Covenant, which is the Ark of the Covenant, which is very cool. Um, but Adoration Chapel is just silent, 24-7, and that's a great place to hear God. Another way to hear God is from other people. So God uses other people to talk to us. So for instance, I've heard, you know, priests or sisters or just even other lay Catholics say that, um, you know, they were praying about a specific thing, and then someone gave them the answer, as in, well, have you ever thought about this, or have you ever thought about that, or um, that God would speak through other people? Okay, this one's really funny. I don't know how. I was with a bunch of people, and we got on this topic about hear you, how you hear God, and everyone, everybody in the group that I was talking to said the bathroom, like maybe when they were in the shower or something, you know, because it's all it's quiet, and you're just in the shower, and you're not, you know, usually. I mean, I guess some people listen to music when they're taking a shower, but you don't typically have your headphones on when you're in the shower. So that was just another way that people said that they heard God. I think I'm on number. I lost my train of thought. Okay, I think we're on six. Number six, people, how people hear God is while, while reading Scripture. And that really makes sense because, you know, you're like seeing the words and you're kind of, it's kind of going into your you know, you're into your mind and your heart, and there might just be specific scriptures that just really stick out when you're reading. I know that's happened to me before, and it's like, oh, okay. Um, okay, number seven. During prayer, anywhere, I guess. Um, 
So just in prayer, it can be, doesn't have to be in any specific location, but just in prayer anywhere. And then this is also number, number eight. This is also a really common one. Even people that aren't really religious will say that they've heard God when they were out in nature. Um, so that really makes sense, you know. In fact, I know a lot of people that when they are in nature, they really do feel a connection to God because when you're really in God's creation is when you can really, it's hard to look around at anything in nature and not see God. So um, in nature is number eight. So these are just, these are eight ways that people have either communicated to me over the years or that I've experienced myself different ways that I've heard God just very common ways and um, I'd love to hear how you hear God or if, if any of if any of these are on your list um, and if you have any stories you know I guess you can leave a longer comment um, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time God bless